One of the things I love the most about Jordan is the diversity that is within its people. Always I enjoy feeling that I'm an ambassador for Jordan, for Jordanian, for Arabs. I like them to see how we think, how we act, how we live. And when we go to these canyons and these natures and these beautiful places, we're like, whoa, like, this is my Jordan, this is my beautiful country, and we have this sense of pride that we just want to show it to the world. What really excites us is the connection, the immediate connection that happens between the travelers who are coming inside and the locals over here. The traveler now is more open to listen to the local and the local is more receptive to accept the traveler. It creates a very authentic type of, uh, of interaction with them. As soon as you meet any Bedouins, you're immediately part of them. Uh, you're never a stranger. That's what makes Bedouins Bedouins. People are spending more quality time, maybe slowing down and really taking in the history, the culture and the adventures that the country has to offer. It's just a beautiful place. You can see the lowest point on earth, the Dead Sea. You can have the best diving in the world in the Red Sea, UNESCO heritage sites like Wadi Ram. You can see one of the seven wonders of the world, Petra. Uh, mountains and jungles and forests. I love the fact that you can go from desert to sea and to be able to experience really different ecosystems in a very small area. Suppliers are increasing, they're becoming more confident, becoming more creative in putting adventures together and we're very excited about the future and what this is all bringing to Jordan. This is the third Adventure Next Near East, and it's great to see the momentum going. And I think one of the greatest accomplishments of this conference was that it connected and collected the Jordanian suppliers. They've come together, they've seen the potential, they've seen the demand, and now it's really time to come together as a sector and to really build the product further, advance it more, and go beyond the classical tours of Jordan. That connection that the traveler gets to have with the local has the opportunity to be world changing. It promotes understanding of people that are very different from each other. It's an opportunity for the customer to have an experience unlike any other that they could have anywhere else. We need to show the tourists something that is not advertised, something hidden, something that we see all the time and we want the tourists to share this experience with us. The vision and mission for us is not just for us to make money, it's for us to make a positive impact on the small communities we visit, grow these communities and ensure that they are self-sustainable. The ripple effect of tourism dollars coming into these economies is changing culture, it's changing people and it's empowering both women, men and children in the communities. Tourism done right, done sustainably, thoughtfully, hopefully locally, and with respect can really help communities to thrive. Tourism really depends on the places and the people thriving themselves. The aspect of this job that I love the most is giving back to the communities we work in and giving them the opportunity to grow, to raise their families, to help people around them. That's really success for me. A company would come and start training a local service provider as a person in a village or in an area where the adventure tourism industry is happening. That particular person becomes a professional. His services are being also used by other companies. So slowly that little person that is getting quite a lot of finances from different companies is also employing other people within the family, within the tribe, within the village. So it's a huge financial support that goes directly into the local communities. It affects every part of our industry. It affects the families, it affects economic, the community. We have life in the country. Because we're there, it's, we, we get to see how tourism can change people's lives, day in and day out. It's very real.